January the 30th, 2012, and Soul Burning Swords, fun with hyphens, mega death, fun with fluid dynamics, and love. Sweet love are why I love Mondays. We've just about made it through the first month of this apocalyptic year, mostly unscathed. Let's see how February kicks off, eh? Now sharpen your senses and fireproof your souls. Namco's Blade Bleeding Fighting Series returns this week with Soul Calibur V, which promises a whole new generation of fighters who, and I'm totally just speculating here, might look and perhaps more than coincidentally fight an awful lot like previous Soul Calibur characters. We'll cut to the quick and see how it stands up later this week. Following in the terminally quirky and highly divisive footsteps of Final Fantasy X-2, Square Enix delivers another non-sequel sequel this week with Final Fantasy XIII-2. Now, while 10-2 was a breezy spinoff from one of the more well-regarded Final Fantasy tales of the past decade, 13-2 has a more uneven legacy to follow. We'll take a look to see how it handles the pressure. We'll also be checking out the IGF award-winning Puddle for Xbox Live Arcade, Rebellion's immortal action game Never Dead, the relatively self-explanatory Rhythm Party for Kinect, the first DLC pack for Dead Island, and more. But there's nothing this week I'm looking forward to more then Thursday Night Throwdown, where we'll be reunited with our friends from Double Fine to kick some Ursine Cosmonaut ass in their first expansion pack for Iron Brigade, Rise of the Martian Bear. Show some love and add GBTNT to your Xbox Live friends list, and be sure to join us at 4 p.m. Pacific this Thursday for more double salute and nonsense than space law will allow. Now, the endurance run might have come to a dramatic conclusion last week, but as ever, you can still count on the giant bomb cast to keep your ears occupied every Tuesday. And that's the basic size and shape of the week ahead on Giant Bomb. Thanks for watching. I love Mondays.